One of the many ways to keep a hammer running properly is to make sure it is properly installed, removed, and stored. To install a hammer, begin with it horizontal on wood blocks. Align the carrier's stick and link pin holes. Install the stick pin first, and then the link pin. When pins are installed, clean the hydraulic connections on both the carrier stick and hammer hydraulic hoses. When installing, note that the pressure line is on the left and the return line is on the right. Open the shutoff valves, conduct your daily inspections, and proceed to start the hammer. After a day's work, the hammer, carrier, and operator are ready for a rest. Prior to removing the hammer, grease the hammer. To properly remove the hammer and prepare for short-term storage, you must first close both of the hydraulic shutoff valves and disconnect the hoses. Avoid getting hydraulic oil on the hammer rubber mounts by capturing any oil in a drain pan and flush any spilled oil from mounts if necessary. Install caps on the carrier's pressure and return lines, then connect the hammer hydraulic hoses to the plugs provided on the hammer bracket. Finally, place the hammer horizontally on wood blocks, noting that the block under the hammer gas end should be larger than the tool end block. Remove the stick and link pins, then cover with a waterproof tarp. Long-term hammer storage requires a few extra steps. Start by discharging the nitrogen gas using the gas charge valve. Leave the charge valve on and open. Next, remove the tool and push the piston all the way in. Apply grease to the end of the piston and to the tool bushings. Apply grease to the tool and reinstall in the hammer. Remove the charge valve. Install the cap on the charge fitting. Place the hammer on wood blocks and cover with a waterproof tarp as you would with short-term storage. Thank you for tuning into this video about proper hammer procedures. Please check out one of our other service instructionals.